Hey everybody, it's Eric here, the Angry Tech at Lights Music, and today we're going to wire up a Telecaster control plate. So let's get started. So as you can see, I've already mounted the uh, three-way switch and the tone pot to the uh, control plate here. I'm going to show you how we get the, uh, the volume pot done. As you can see on the uh, pot here, there's this little nub here, and we're going to take that off. If we left it on, it would, wouldn't let the pot sit flush down. It'd be crooked. So I'm going to put the star washer on. Put it through the control plate. See, make sure it fits, and it does. All right, so on a volume pot, we always take, there's three lugs, uh, one, two, and three, okay? One, two, three. Uh, one is the input, two is the output, and three here, we're going to ground to the chassis of the pot like that okay now a little tech secret here is if since we're going to be grounding wires to the top of this pot the best way to get the ground and the solder to flow really well is to score up the top so i have some four aught steel wool here i'm just going to rub back and forth on the top of the pot and you can see it's nicely scratched up there and that will give a nice better surface for the solder to flow. Now, to ensure that this ground gets soldered well or gets grounded well, we're going to solder that lug to the chassis. So, we're going to hold our iron to the pot into the lug, let it sit there for a second to heat up, and then just gently tap the solder to it. And when you see that the solder starts to melt onto the pot and the lug, go ahead and put a bit on there. Lift your, pot, lift your iron and let it cool. Now, as you can see, the uh, solder there is nice, connect to both the lug and the uh, housing of the pot here. So let's go ahead and get our pot into position. Washer, nut, and tighten down. and take a half inch nut driver tighten also make sure your tone pot's tight and it is all right so now we can start working on the switch here what's going to happen is looking at the blades you got to tell where the blades roll and then now i know i have to make my bridge for my um control let's see here for my switch is to start here to here jumper over to here and then to here and now i have a piece of bare wire this was some regular wire like this right here that I've pulled the cloth back and then I'm exposed this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this wire right here push a bit through the top like so see that and I'm going to heat up that tab
throw a bit of solder there. And now the solder is soldered there to the tab and then we can go on to the next. I'm going to roll this piece of wire underneath the tab like that and it's really good idea to have a nice piece of stiff wire if it's falling around and you can't articulate it and manipulate it the way you want it to stay in certain places so we're going to heat it up and as you can see the heat transferred through the wire And cause it to move so do be very careful when you're holding the wire and you're soldering because that heat will spread through the wire really quick and get your fingers hot so we're going to inspect this to see how nice and neat it is because you know even though you may not be able to see inside the control panel you know it's there and you'll feel kind of uh, you know, guilty about giving somebody a guitar that has some sloppy work on the inside. So let's trim up this little excess here into our trash can. Make sure this part right here is nice and soldered good, and it is. Let's bend it to look nice here. It looks a little weird. There. All right. So now I have to jump her over from this lug over to this lug, but I'm going to have some exposed wire there so what I'm going to do is take a little bit of heat shrink tubing I'm going to trim a little bit off run it down and see how much I need to trim so probably about that much so not that much Whichever camera wants to see that and trim. Take this little bit of tube shrink, heat, heat shrink tube, throw it right there. Look at that, perfect. And then roll that piece of wire underneath. solder check your connection nice and tight and some of the heat that was in the wire transferred over to the heat shrinking heat shrink tube and melted or shrunk it but I'm going to get a lighter and just encourage it to go the rest of the way there we go so now we have a nice Little section there that's insulated okay now what I can do is since I got that soldered up I can pull this bit through you might need to manipulate it just a little bit like that All right, so we're not going to solder this post yet because we need, this is going to be the output from the switch to our volume pot. As I said, this is the input of the pot. This is the output. This output will go to the um, output jack of the guitar, whereas the input will come from the switch, which is where you'll solder your pickups to. So, let's get a piece of our custom shop wire. Put it in place. And manipulate the wire to kind of roll down here like that 
to make it look nice. Because, like I said, though people may not be able to see inside that, you know what's there. And we'll just lay the iron on that tab there. Touch some solder. Let it flow really well. Now you can trim off your excess. Take a look, make sure it's on there good. There it is. If you see any weird looking bends or anything, just So we're going to attach this here. So trim our wire. Push back the cloth shielding a little bit and stick it right in there. Now we're not going to solder this just yet because we have to put another connection in there which jumpers over to our tone pot. So let's take care of that now. Why go back to it when you can take care of it at the right here, right now? So, insert it in the same way. Manipulate your wire to look nice and neat. And when you've got your two bare points in place into the lug of the pot. Heat up the lug. Touch your solder to the top of the lug. And when you start to see the solder flow, you know the lug is hot. Let the, lug, let the solder flow down over the wire, over the lug, over the whole entire opening of the lug. And when you see that happened, you're good. Uh, I don't know if you can take a look at that, but you can see how it's a nice little bit of solder. You didn't have to overdo it. You didn't have to gloop it on there. It just flowed right down. And then let gravity take it and, flip and cover up the hole. And we can check our connection. Yeah, they're good. And there's little nubs sticking out. Let's trim those little nubs off. Because you want this to look like, you know, the custom shop did it. So now we're going to trim. And since this is the only wire that's connecting to the tone pot, just there we go. And if you, if you push back too much of the cloth covering of the wire, that's fine. And you have too much wire sticking out, just Take your needle nose there and bend it back a little bit. Now we're going to heat up the lug. You might see a little bit and smell a little bit of the cloth wiring kind of burning. That's fine. It helps it trim. We got a little bit too much solder there, and we don't want it to go down in the cavity of the. So, I'm going to take our solder pump here. And clean it up. Let's manipulate this a little bit more, shall we? There we go. Now, if you get solder inside of your pot there, um, not a good thing. You'll have to take the pot out and replace it because it's, it's a mess and it won't work. In fact, let's see, let's move the, uh... okay, we're lucky. So if you want to let um, physics work in your favor, you can turn the pot like this. So gravity is pushing down and then you could just heat the, heat the pot up and let the solder flow away 
from the opening of the pot. It'll flow slow, but it won't be up inside your pot there. Good. Clean our tip up there. It's looking a little rough. Now, as you can see, good solder connection. Let's clean the wiring up a little bit. And let's trim off a little nubs and excess there. Neatness counts. A little tug on the wire to make sure it's still stuck on there. Yep. Okay. Now, for this project today, we do have a really nice vintage style oil and paper cap. This tone capacitor is really awesome. I've used it before on a build for a um, Les Paul Jr. And it sounded great on that. So we're going to put it on this. Now with single hole pickups, you use 250K pots and normally you would use a 0 0.047 microfarad capacitor. Well, this is a 0 0.1 microfarad. So the tone sweep is going to be a lot different than a 0 0.047. So how much? Well, it's all to the ear, really. Um, depends on if you're somebody who's strict and thinks they can hear something or if it's just somebody who'd like if you like to experiment and it sounds good to you then do it who says you have to do this who says you have to use 250 K's on single coils you can use 500 K's if you want if they sound if it sounds good to you it's still gonna work but if it sounds good to you do it I mean no big deal nobody's gonna scold you especially not me I've used 500 K's on single coils before and they came out great so don't worry about it. So we're going to manipulate the leads real quick. And there like that so I am going to we're gonna put that like that and look at that solder flow and see how it just kind of flows easy and nice onto the top of the pot. That's because we scored it up a little bit. Now that that's in place, let's do the lug. Yeah, I'll see if I can turn this around so you can see a bit better. If you can't see it, I apologize. Cool. And it flowed up really nice. Let's, let's trim our excess here. We'll trim that off. Trim that off. All right. So um, this excess lead wire for from the um, capacitors in some cases uh, if I was like doing um, a build where the pots are really close together I could use these as um, as grounding as grounding wires where I can just kind of chain them together but since we don't need to do that cool so next part here we're going to do our ground wire 
ground wire is going to go on this side and we're going to go from this pot to this pot right here. What will eventually happen is our grounding wire from the uh, output jack will solder to here and then the ground wires to from the uh, pots and from the pickups and the bridge will solder to here. So let's take care of the ground wire from here to here. So what I'll do is I'll pull back the cloth a little bit, bend that over just a tad, find a nice spot. Put my soldering iron down on that. And then hold the iron there until you see the solder just kind of melt and flow on like water on top of the pot. When you see that happen, don't add any more solder, take something, hold it there, lift your iron, let it cool. Done. Now, Sweet. Now we've basically assembled the entire control plate as needed for pickups. The next step would be to solder the pickups to the control plate, but first thing I'm going to do is this is going to be my output. So I'm going to solder that in. This is my ground wire that goes right here. So we will do that. Flow a little solder and mix it in with the solder we did for the tone pot or the tone cap. Watch it flow and mix. Now this will eventually be laying like this, so these will, will hang down like so. But it really doesn't matter if it's kind of looking like that, but there is our complete control panel for our Telecaster. 